snowing, man. Company done finally pissed me off one time. It's tolerable, but I kind of got a slight attitude with it. I've been driving trucks long enough that I can, I know how to work my clock. I know how to maneuver. I know how to get what I need to get out of what I got. So when a company start pulling off the load or um, what's, what's the word, unassigning you from a load that you know you could run, you got the time to run, you done game planned it. Like I literally knew what my next load was gonna be, where it was going, and I already been putting my game plan together on how I was gonna get it ran and get it delivered and all of that, because I accepted it, knowing that I had to put together a game plan and I did it. I had one that was gonna be just fine. But then they wanna unassign me from the load. Chase, hush. So I'm kinda pissed off about it. Just cause, like I said, I'm, I've been trucking long enough to know what it takes, what I need to do to get stuff ran. I mean, it is what it is. I ain't saying some can't happen because anything can happen. But I still knew what I was going to do and how I wanted to do it. But I guess the actual best part about running what it is that we run is just the fact that I can always still get it on the other side. Now, they sent me another load. Um, it's pretty much same distance. But I came front. The best part about it is it don't pick up till day after tomorrow so even though I was working on minimal hours and I had a game plan on how we still was going to run it and all of that you know I can benefit from the rest I can benefit from the downtime and from the numbers from the number standpoint we are talking about a $500 difference maybe six give or take so I guess they don't need me tripping, and I, I, I'm just going, and I'll lose a day. What I would have delivered on uh, Wednesday, now I'm picking up on Wednesday, delivering on Thursday. So, you know, never know what can come of it. But it kind of just pissed me off a little bit just because, like I said, I, 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 I try my best. I work hard at captain, uh, captain, captaining my ship, if that's the proper way to put it. You know what I mean? I, I work hard at um, putting my play together precisely. You know what I mean? Doing it how I feel like it need to be done. So kind of when somebody take that out of my hands, it's kind of like, you son of a gun. But my wife just was letting me know that, you know, this type of freight, you know, because their thing was, you know, they can't have nothing happen. Uh, where it was going, what the commodity was. Like, you know what I mean? It can't be any hiccups. It can't be any issue or question for that matter if what they need to happen can happen. And like I said, I had a game plan. I had a way in which that I wanted to do it that I knew I could get it done. <clears throat> but she had to let me know that... Um, you know, the stuff that we haul right now, they can't play games with it. And on top of that, you being out here trying to squeeze the last little something out of your hours and stuff like that, that ain't how they operate. You know what I mean? They 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 make sure you get the proper rest. You know, because you you're making the money. So we're gonna we gonna make the bread that. back. <clears throat> they pay you for that. Right. They, pay, they compensate us well to come out here and be alert mm -hmm. to be able to attend these loads stay up with them and get them where they have to go safely right and they also have to cover their butts this this is not regular freight right you know what happens if they say okay well yeah we're gonna go ahead and let them take this load they got this many hours and then we get stuck somewhere and can't move for that many hours and then we don't have no clock no, that's it's all facts. You know, it's they have to consider all those variables, and then again, they compensate us well to not be out here like that. Right. You know, it's not about like you said. You know, we lost a day, but we really didn't. 
because right. in a day we could gain what we we could have a load that pays us for what we made in a week that's a fact so i mean you don't that's know if, if you're going to get that <clears throat> but it can happen but ideally this freight pays at the high end no that's a fact of of what loads pay based on what you're hauling but yeah. not just that also based on them mm -hmm. expecting us to make decisions that will um, ultimately safeguard their tired, their bro. stuff you know what I'm saying right and I mean and they want us to make those types of decisions you know and I can't knock it completely because like I say what where, where, where we would have been going uh, kind of on the east coast for the most part um, Delaware I don't know what kind of freight would have come out of that area versus where I'm going now we basically going back to the same place we just picked the load up that we're on right now from I don't think it's anywhere we go that there ain't gonna be no freight that we can't pick up that pay what we get well, because of the type of freight that we are I'm just saying as far as in that general area where the deadhead would be minor you know, I, mean, I know that whatever load we get is going to be good, but if we're somewhere that's not, you know what I mean, right in the core, we could have to deadhead a good distance to get the load, even though the load pays well. But what I'm saying is right now, the load that we end up getting puts us right back to the same shipper that brought us here in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 odds of us getting some good out of that same location without having a deadhead anywhere is 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 highly possible. So I just think it's this mentality, I, and I, I got to shift myself. I, I just got to shift mm -hmm. the way in which I think because I the hustle in me is is ain't never gonna go nowhere. I just got to realize that that the product that I got. The dope gonna sell itself. And I just gotta keep that in mind that I don't need to do that to myself. Like I said, what what, what just threw me or kinda, I guess, pissed me off was just the fact that, you know, I, I put, I take pride in putting my plans together. So when I felt like I had the plan just fine where I needed it at, and then it gets taken away, it's almost like, God think, dang it! I, it's 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 ironic that you use the 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 dope game in your analogies when you're dealing with this because you know I used to love to dibble dabble. Oh yeah, hey, 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 hey. But you my wife for I a reason. I look at it like this: Facts. I've always played it somewhat safe. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what: the times that I made error when I was in the streets and when I was doing stuff like that was when I decided that I wanted more than what I was getting. And what was crazy was I was getting more than what I was getting before. Right. But when my thoughts started to push me more towards the money instead of sticking to the strategic plan that was in place, I often fell off my square during those periods. Because it's almost like if it ain't break, if it's not broke, why, why are you trying to fix it? Right. right. And again, they don't just pay us for the freight. That's the yeah. difference of why we get the type of income we get for these loads or the money we get for these loads because they're not just paying for freight. They're paying for clearances. They're paying for you to be able to get into these secure locations, to be up with it, right. to be smart with it, to be critical thinking, to be a person that's not going to be risky because this is not a type of freight that you take risks. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you. Because taking a risk would not only be life-threatening, but it would also go up the, the, the... It would go up even further than that to say that it could possibly come with some sort of felonies because we're dealing with... We're dealing with... I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we're dealing with the government. So this rate right? is stamped with an approval for it to be hauled by certain people a certain way yeah. to to certain places. Yeah. I mean, anytime we gotta have you know, cameras and, you know, buttons just in case somebody come. I mean, you know. Yeah. 
No, I'm with you. We ain't riding around with bananas. That's a fact. Ain't nobody trying to get this trailer because we got bananas. Yeah, yeah we don't hold our fair share. <laughs> and then believe me, if they pay us like they pay us for bananas, everybody would be over here. And they wouldn't need no clearances to do it. Yeah, no, that's facts. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, man, I, uh, I, 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 I did get a little felt a little some kind of way because like I said I was like dang you know what I'm saying I'm so used to running my own ship and putting putting my plays to work putting my plans to work and executing them that's just what it is that I do but you know I get it and I'm, I'm in full I understanding think you do of that, that very well. appreciate it I think it, you do that very well I and I think that it's this is a growth process for both of us mm -hmm. and for you and I think that what's happening in our life is this is opening up room for us to adventure and do other things and to put our minds more to work than needs yeah you know you want to work smarter not harder facts you know that's the goal as you get um I ain't gonna say older because there are people who are where we're at that's younger just as you elevate up the chain in life wherever you are mm -hmm. the goal is to work smarter not harder yeah yeah I, I feel that because you got way more potential so do I in you um, to do even greater things Thanks. with the with the creativity with the innovativeness you have inside of you and with the skills and things that we've developed over life you know the wisdom and knowledge that we have yeah but it's 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 hard to to veer away from what you know and yeah. all we've ever known was to go hard but we are we went hard enough to get here yeah that's and a fact we gotta stay here that's a fact <laughs> yeah well like i said man I, I, I had to change my perspective on how i look at things you know i can still keep my same drive keep my same energy mm -hmm. you know because it's definitely yeah. needed but, you know, I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Everything don't have to be ran the same way. And honestly, we had a, such a great week last week that even if this week won't, what I, what my goals is from week to week, it still balances itself out. So, you know, I just got to keep in mind that the realities of what it is that we're doing, that this is a marathon, you know what I mean? Not so much a sprint. So, you yes. know, we're yes. going to get it and yes. it's going to happen. I just got to keep that in mind keep that in the forefront of my mind yeah that's exactly how um that's why it's good to do the books and look at numbers because that's how we did when we had the salon you know there was times there was weeks where we made good money and there was times when it was really slow but at the end of the month mm -hmm. is when you look at your books and realize wow we really did balance it out it, it still came out to the same thing right you know if you make if you make five thousand dollars every week you know, for four weeks, well, that's 20000 But if you made 10 one week, and then one week you make but two, and, you know, it all adds up to still t to the 20, then the right. book, the numbers are still the same. You yeah, get what I'm saying? I do. So, um, I think that, I think that it's great that you are um, the way you are. I actually enjoy watching it. I get frustrated, but I enjoy <laughs> watching it because it, there's a light of excitement. Oh. Because right. anytime you can see where you're going mm -hmm. and get there, mm -hmm. that's winning. And because for real, how many times we see somewhere we want to go, but we can't get there? It seems mm -hmm. so hard to get there. Right. No, you're right. And I to have the opportunity to see and know through examples of other people and what we've already done mm -hmm. that we can get there for real we're winning oh that's fact that's it and for real I can't even trip from the because we have to stay on duty with our load so our clock when we sat down a few days ago you know we still had to stay on duty through the storm and all of that stuff so where you would think we was able to rest and, you know, um, get resets and stuff like that. We really wasn't because we had to stay up with the load um, throughout the night. Either one of us, you know, we had to go through clocks on duty time and all of that. So, you know, 
that's why we even down to the wire right now on clockwise. And that's not but, every load. That was this specific load based on the type of... Well, um, majority of them are. are. Yeah. I mean, that's just kind of... Yeah, a lot of them are, but not every single one do we yeah, understand. Yeah, but for the most part, it's like that. So, you know, and on top of all that, I can't even lie to you. I'm tired as a mug anyway. So, so am I, y'all. So this, this, uh... So I, when I get the raccoon eyes and y'all see me pull out the scarves and stuff, and I be like, get the camera <laughs> on my face, you already know. So this, 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 this day, day and a half from now until we pick up day after tomorrow, we need it. So we definitely gonna rest up with it. But get some unnecessary and needed downtime and come back out refreshed and come back out ready to run and gun. I just wanted to add this before you um, close this video out. But just like we was talking about yesterday, it's a different feeling when you're working hard and you're tired and you drain and you burnt out and then you still don't got it. And mm. we did that for years. Mm. We did that for years. And, and, and was I ain't going to say we was happy, but we made the best of it. You know what I'm saying? We won't complain about it. We did we had to do. But now, to feel like this and be able to look in your account mm -hmm. and know that, you know, you're earning what you feel you're worth. Yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Mo 804. Girl, now, whether husband or wife. Or besties for life. Or you just like what you like. As long as you do it as a team, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. We sitting out here right now about to get unloaded. And I guess we about to have some time off. Go to the telly. So I, I guess I got to turn that frown <laughs> upside down. Mm -hmm. We gone, man. Y'all know what it is. Holla at y'all. Peace. Peace.